The good old Pentium 4. It was released in the year 2000 with an uncomfortable amount of marketing hype. But is it still usable here in 2024? No, but also maybe yes. So stay tuned. And if you enjoy abusing old computers with way too modern software, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Ah, the year 2000. It was a time of whim and fancy. Intel released the Pentium 4 with nonsensical commercials using the Blue Man Group and weird aliens. But public reception of the Pentium 4 was rather mixed. High-end Pentium 3s outperformed the initial low-end Pentium 4s, and that became kind of a punchline, which I guess is fitting. A CPU as uninspiring as many of the dull, bland corporate PCs it was shoved into. Nevertheless, as a young nerd in 2000, I fully believed all of the marketing hype, and so I believe that this particular 2000s laptop deserves a new life. One of my favorite under the radar distros, Adley, still supports these machines today, and in fact, machines even older than this. Those are some wildly low system requirements, and this tough book here with its blazing fast Pentium 4M at 1.8 gigahertz, well that blows those minimum specs away. So I have burned the x86 Adley Linux image, so we'll pop this disc in, check out that live environment, and do a full modern install of Linux on this 21 year old machine. Right after this quick word about today's sponsor, Trainwell. I've started taking my health much more seriously this year. In fact, since January, I'm down more than 40 pounds. I've done this through diet changes and going to the gym three days a week. And on days that I don't go to the gym, lately I've been doing train well at home. Working with a trainer at Trainwell has been pretty incredible. All right, so welcome to Trainwell. Towards the end of last year, especially, I was having trouble sleeping. Uh, I was groggy all day. Uh, and I went to the doctor and they actually said I had sleep apnea. Uh, you know, I gained some weight over lockdown like a lot of people did. Uh, so since the beginning of the year, I've been going to the gym now three days a week. So I'm really looking to add on to that. Well, I'm really super happy that you're here now because, you know, the sleep sleep apnea is definitely a, a concerning situation, right? I've been doing this for over a decade, but I've been uh, trained well for um, almost three years now. As you can notice that I'm very passionate about this, that I'm working on my PhD at this as well. You know what oh, I mean? Wow. So are, do you have any goals when it comes to, I guess, weight loss? You know, my main goal is just to feel better, right? Yeah. And sleep better. The app itself is so wonderful to use. It works on my iPhone and optionally in conjunction with my Apple Watch to not only track progress, but watch my motion. I love that I can work out from home right at my editing desk. Just prop up my phone, watch how the exercise should be performed, and do it. And if you think this sounds right for you, click on my Trainwell link below to get 14 days free with your own real personal trainer. I think this is a really good looking laptop in a very 2002 kind of way. I mean, not only is it a cool blue aesthetic, but on the side here, we have two PCMCIA card slots. On the other side here, DVD, ROM, and floppy drive. And check this out. It's two-tone, lovely. And on the back here, we have a plethora of ports, including two whole USB ports and an ethernet jack. What more could you ask for? Now we are going to do a little bit of quality of life upgrading. Namely, we're gonna take out this 22 year old spinning hard drive, which is remarkably easy to access. And we're gonna replace it with this, which is actually a custom built DOS Dude IDE SSD, which I will link to these down in the description. They are quite cool and this will be very fast in here. All right, powering on the tough book. We'll go into setup real quick and we'll just quickly convince this thing that it's not 2002. Oh yeah, booting up into Grub here, Adelie Linux live environment. 
Let's see if this thing can do any semblance of a usable live environment with 768 megs of RAM. Oh my goodness, look at this. We are in XFCE live booted off of a CD-ROM and it is, well, working. And not just working, but it is remarkably smooth for what is going on here. I have to do something about that terminal font. Anyway, with this resounding success so far, let's try to do a full install. We have a system install app here. Ah, and there's our DOS Lab 256 gig SSD. And we will take over that entire disk. We are connected to the internet. And we will choose the mobile version here, which is the full desktop environment and software plus extra stuff for portable computers. I'm not entirely sure what that means. And we will choose XFCE for our desktop environment because it is beautiful. Hopefully jump cut to this being complete. All right, and here we are in our brand new minty fresh Adelie Linux install in XFCE. And uh, first thing we need to do is set up KGPG. And wow, just first impression here, this is incredible. Look how smooth this is. Remember, we're running on a 22 some odd year old Pentium 4 single core CPU with less than a gigabyte of RAM. That's almost silky smooth. Oh, well, the animation of the, uh, the dock going down is smooth. I don't know what kind of magic the Adelie devs have done to really smooth out this experience on low spec hardware. But whatever it is, it paid off. I mean, <laughs> this is honestly incredible. Okay, let's see. What do we have installed here? Can we do a NeoFetch screenshot? No, I don't think there's NeoFetch. I think there's something called High Fetch. No. Okay, sudo. Oops, sudo. Don't have that. Uh, we'll go into root. Now, Adelie uses something called the APK package manager, which is quite nice. And uh, we'll do APK update here. Let's make sure we're online. And it looks like we are. So APK install sudo. Whoops, no, APK add sudo. Yeah, there we go. And since NeoFetch is no longer in development. Let's see what other fetches we have on here. Okay, there's Fast Fetch and HY Fetch, I think is the one that they show on the site. So, whoops, I typed apt. APK add HY Fetch. Oh, yeah, look at that. We have our Adelie Linux i686 here with kernel 5.15 MC6 Easy, which I believe is a kernel compiled to maximize responsiveness, and our single core Pentium 4 Mobile 1.8 gigahertz. APK add HTOP. Yeah, look how efficient this is. We're using just 2% of the CPU sitting here at idle and less than half of our memory I didn't make any swap space. Maybe I should make a swap file, but maybe we don't even need it. All right, since I would like to do some web browsing on here, I am going to just create a one gigabyte swap file. Yep, now HTOP is showing our swap file, which we are still not eating into. But let's see what else is installed on this system and what we're going to need to go out and grab. First, web browser. There is none installed. APK search Firefox. Is there Fire? Oh my God, there is Firefox. <laughs> Firefox ESR. Okay. APK add Firefox ESR. I will be shocked if Firefox ESR provides a usable experience here with our single core Pentium 4. Oh, we have a ton of games from KDE. Well, no web browsers, but a boatload of games. I see where your priorities are. Let's try playing a video file. I have a totally legitimate copy of a DVD that I own here. Oh, it's playing. There's no sound, though. 
All right, a quick install of Pulse Audio, and I do believe we have sound now. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, the sound not only works, it works incredibly well. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. So we've had a lot of success so far. I've been kind of procrastinating trying out web browsing. We have Firefox. Let's see how that runs with a single core, 1.8 gigahertz and 768 megs of RAM. It's not particularly fast, but it is so far working. Patreon com slash action retro all right well browsing modern javascript heavy websites on this ancient pentium 4 is mind-numbingly slow here in firefox but it does work let's try a website that's perhaps a little easier here oh yeah this is a much more reasonable experience look at that Modern Firefox web browsing on a Pentium frickin' 4. All right, let's get real weird with it and try to compile Classic Cube from source so we can do some actual legitimate gaming here on this Pentium 4. Grab some developer tools here, apk add git, build tools, gcc, make. All right, let's try to build it. Well, look how fast it's compiling. Holy smokes, it compiled, and there's the executable. <laughs> let's, well, let's close Firefox and give it a fighting chance here. Let's play some Classic Cube. Look at this. We are in Classic Cube, <laughs> and with sound. Oh, it's very loud. This is... Well, it's not fast. We're getting three frames per second. But we're playing! <laughs> Look at this! Alright, that's not very impressive. Let's uh, dial back these settings a little bit. Bring this view distance way down. Well, we're getting like three frames per second. Not exactly playable. This is just awesome, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is incredible, even as slow as it is. Let's try another 3D game that might work a little better. And I want to find the Sourbrotten GitHub. I think it's just a mirror. Okay, so I've tried to compile Sourbrotten and ran into issues with missing SDL2 dependencies. So then I tried to compile those SDL2 dependencies and couldn't get that to work. So unfortunately, no awesome old school open source FPS today. But on the bright side, that was a very classic Linuxy experience. Anyway, there's one more very stupid thing that we have to try before we go today. With all of the surprising success we've had running Adelie on this machine, let's laugh at something that probably won't work very well. Just how incredibly bad will this thing be at playing YouTube videos in Firefox? Let's find out. Well, here is our good friend Mac84. Let's see if we can watch one of his latest videos. Oh no, it's an ad. With whole home Wi-Fi included. Only on Verizon. Well, of course it can play ads just fine. All right, I've got the video quality down as low as possible. Hey, <laughs> that's ridiculous. That is the slideshow, but hey, the audio is working just fine. Okay, this is just ridiculous. There is no reason you'd want to watch YouTube on a machine this old. Unless you just like pain. Okay, so I don't know what kind of magic the Adelie team is doing, but it's working. I mean, this is an incredible experience for hardware this old running modern Linux. These days, almost nothing supports 32-bit CPUs, so for Adelie to show this much love to these old platforms, it's awesome. And it's not just Pentium 4s that Adelie works on. I've been a fan of Adelie for years. We first installed it on an iMac G3. Yeah, 
they support PowerPC 32. So if you have any old machines lying around, even something as old as this or older, there's a good chance Adelie Linux will work. So I'll definitely link down in the description so you can check out Adelie for yourself. In any event, that'll do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more stuff like this, please subscribe down below. And thank you very much for watching. And thank you once again to Trainwell for sponsoring today's video. And a special thanks to Alex Hoffman, Andrew Nicholson, April White, Chris Biggs, Chris Calderon, Chris Nelson, Control Alt Reese, Drew Hamlin, Frodo Jedi, Gaspar Heller, George Rosansky, Graham, Greg from Hrut King Mods, James Fryman, James Lawry, Jason Papaz, Jason Ezel, Camille Rakowski, Lyle Truid, Matthew Crowall, Nick Daniels, Paul Spencer, Ryan, Scott Cedarbaum, Scott Thompson, Tom Woodfin, Unknown Soldier 41, Veronica Explains, and Xantronics and Industrial, who are my highest tiered patrons and all of my Patreon supporters for helping to make these videos possible.